Now, to call her a star is an understatement. She's an icon who starred in some of the most successful films and stage shows of all time. And that includes My Fair Lady, Mary Poppins, Camelot, Victor Victoria, and, of course, the one that's celebrating its 40th anniversary, The Sound of Music. Will you please welcome the one and only Dame Julie Andrews? <laughs> You. What a lovely welcome. Thank I can't you. believe it. Dame Julie Andrews on my sofa. <laughs> <laughs> How lovely to meet you. Thank you. And uh, <laughs> likewise, Paul. It doesn't really feel like 40 years since the sound no, of it. No. I mean, if it's 20, it's amazing. But 40, it's got to be a joke. <laughs> <laughs> I remember vividly going to see it with my mum. Uh, it was the Odeon Liverpool. I was just going to say, where was that? Yeah, Odeon yeah. in Liverpool. And it was, oh. I remember it was, it was a really splendid cinema in those days. It was an old Art Deco one. It's nice, absolutely beautiful. Nice. And I think my mum sang the songs for the rest of her life. <laughs> <laughs> She'd be in the kitchen frying chips, singing Edelweiss. <laughs> Edelweiss. <laughs> How many times have you seen the film? Uh, not that many, strangely enough. Yeah. It's not some. I mean, I don't sort of say, ah, well, tonight I'm going to stay home and run the sound of music. <laughs> um, but I guess about five or six times in all. And I catch it occasionally if it's on Christmas or yeah. Easter or something like that. It's a remarkable film, isn't it? Because it's a really uplifting film. Yeah, I think it's, it's about all the right things. It's about freedom and love of family and love of country. And, yeah. uh, and apart from anything else, it was, the, in those days, one of the most beautifully crafted films. Mm. I mean, uh, you know, I, I personally know, because I was there, the the quality of sound and the beautiful orchestrations, which it's no accident that they had that spare, beautiful, big sound. They were everything was done so, so well. And every song in it's a winner. Every... I'd say, well, Mr. Rogers and Mr. Hammerstein yeah. really knew how to write the most beautiful music. I think something good's my favourite. Definitely, when I think of something like, good. Yeah, oh, that's I must nice. have had a wicked childhood. <laughs> <laughs> Perhaps I had a miserable youth. <laughs> I think it was prophetic, actually. <laughs> for me, that time. Now there's a new DVD out, and it's got loads of extras. Yes, it's it's got this DVD because it's celebrating the 40th anniversary. It's got all the bells and whistles, and uh, it's got stuff that I hadn't even seen. Um, uh, rehearsal footage and still photos that I that they dug up out of the archives, and an interview with me and Chris Plummer, who's a good friend, and uh, um, the, the kids, who are no longer kids, but they go back to uh, Salzburg and go around all the places. It's not just a puff piece, it's a good, good value. Did you know that Marnie Nixon played one of the nuns? Of course yeah, I did, yeah. And yes. she was the voice Worked for Audrey Hepburn. Yeah, she was the voice for Audrey Hepburn in yeah. My Fair Lady, yeah. and also for Deborah Carr on um, King and I. Yeah. And, uh, Natalie Wood on West Side That's Story. Right, yeah. I mean, she's an amazing lady, and she happened to be one of our lovely nuns That's in right. The Sound of Music. That's right, yeah. yeah. And has this got the sing along on it as well? Uh, yes, I think that one does. Oh, yeah. I and that's to... so you can play it at home and have your own private sing along. Uh, you know? Have you ever been to the sing along of Sound of Music? Yeah. You must go. It's, I went in Glasgow, it was a hoot. I was I've never been. Oh, I sat next to a nun and a member of the Gestapo. It was. <laughs> 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 it was very strange, but <laughs> it was highly enjoyable. Anyway, we've got a clip of this movie. Now, Bert, please, if you would, can we have a look at the sound of music so we can sing it all day? The hills are alive with the sound of music, with songs they have sung for a thousand years. wants to sing every song it hears. I was a teenager. But you used to. I used to. Oh, okay. I used to have a wild one. <laughs> <laughs> I was just... Helen Dame Judy, I'm a bit, a bit ashamed, ashamed to tell her this. When I was a child, I went to Ireland to meet me auntie's farm in Galway, and I used to stand in the field aged about seven. <laughs> <laughs> With my auntie Bridget's penny on. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I wish I'd had a photo of that ball. That would have been great. And run through the cow paths, Julie, singing <laughs> the hell's on a Yeah, but wait, Paul, I can tell you a sort of ridiculous story about myself. I was getting ready to come to the London Palladium many, many years ago, and I knew I was going to have to sing The Sound of Music, and I knew I was going to have to do my big, you know, concert act. And um, so I was uh, in Europe, and I was out in the fields, and I thought, well, I'll get the legs strong, and I'll, I'll go up and over the hill, and there was no one around, and day after day, I would do a lot of <laughs> workouts, and I got stronger and stronger, and I thought, well, there's no one around. I might as well vocalise a bit. So I was vocalising, and of course, I, honest to God, was going, the hills are alive, and a whole group of Japanese tourists came <laughs> up over the hill. <laughs> with, they, they thought I must have been doing that my whole life. <laughs> <laughs> at least I only had cows looking at me, very <laughs> bemused. <laughs> Jo, I had uh, you, that too. You've made some wonderful films. One of my favourites is The Americanization of Emily. Oh, I'm glad you I said that. I love that movie. It's, I did too. Yeah. I did it's too. got a really dark side to it. Yes, hasn't it does. It? It's yeah. the uh, second film I made, and it yeah. kind of got eclipsed because of The Sound of Music, yeah. but it was a great oh, movie. Oh, it's a great. And the other With one I love. James loved, Garner, yeah. Darling Lily. Did you like that one? I love it because, I'll tell you what, Dame Julie does a mean strip tease <laughs> in Darling <laughs> Lily, too. A song called I'll Give You Three Guesses Who Loves You. It's yes. fabulous. Yes. That was, that's another great movie. It, yeah, I, I've been very lucky, Paul. Mm -hmm. Very. I mean, nobody's been luckier than I have. And SOB, of course, that threw the Mary Poppins image out the window completely, <laughs> didn't it? Yes. Another great film. Yep, that was directed. Yep. Uh, well, both Darling Lily and um, SOB were directed by my husband. Yeah. And Vic, was Victor Victoria a tough film to do? It looked tough. Um, uh, yes, it was in a way. I mean. Uh, just really, a, a, you know, a, a woman pretending to be a man who was pretending to be a woman. And so sometimes it was like rubbing my stomach and patting my head and yeah. uh, trying to sort of figure out, well, which one am I today? <laughs> <laughs> I know the feeling. I believe you, <laughs> <laughs> believe you, mate. I've been there myself in the past too, am I today? <laughs> now, there's a very special programme coming up on Sky Movies. This is yeah, I hear that there's um, there's a tribute or something. Uh, uh, is it the? Are you talking about the BAFTA evening? No, I said. But is this the sound of music or the BAFTAs? The BAFTAs. Yeah, the, the BAFTAs. It was. Yeah. It was. We, we we spent a lovely evening at that BAFTA and uh, and I spoke and I think it's going to be on Sky TV. Yeah. yeah. Is it? Any idea about when? Sunday. I think. Oh, Sunday. Oh, this Sunday. Oh, oh, oh my. Should be watching this. All right. I hope so. Now, it was what... a lovely evening. I had a great time. When are you going to write your autobiography? I am doing oh, it. Oh, fabulous. Yeah, I'm yeah. only about uh, seven years late, <laughs> and uh, they've been very patient with me, but I think in about... It's going to take a while, because I'm only about halfway through, yeah. but about uh, a year and a half, it'll be out, yeah. I hope. Um, you know, uh... Is it hard to do to write? Yes, it, yeah. it yeah. is. It's, uh, you know, I do write a lot of children's books. But and, this one, and, and the illustrations and this. Aren't they beautiful? They're just stunning. I know. Show, show people look, look what they're talking about. Uh, look at these gorgeous, beautiful... Gorgeous. Look at this. Absolutely, look. It's a proper old-fashioned children's book. Yeah, and it's about all the things that I love, which is nature and music and and a musician in, in medieval times. And uh, I wrote it with my lovely daughter, Emma, one of my daughters. And um, isn't that glorious? It's, yeah. Look at that. It's yeah. just stunning, isn't it? The yeah. detail in these. Can the camera see it? Can you see that? That's Annie? Right. Yeah, I love yeah. Can you see if I hold oh, that there up? You go. Thank you. You've got a bit of a glare on it. That's yeah. lovely, isn't it? It's just come out in England, and uh, I've got another one coming out, um, published by Puffin in, uh, I think, about next May it'll be coming out. But I run a children's publishing imprint in the United States, and my lovely daughter helps me run it. And uh, I think we've done about 20 books in all, not okay. just mine or ours together, but other authors, and we, we search for them and we commission pieces. And it's just... And I try to incorporate a lot of music with them sometimes, mm. too. I love children's books. I'm glad. I, I do, do, too. I was brought up on The Borrowers. <laughs> Were you? Sincerely. <laughs> I'm still lifting up floorboards now. When <laughs> I am. <laughs> The grand old age of 50 when things go missing. <laughs> now, one of our regulars, little Jack McGrotty, he did the dance earlier. He came on in his leather hosen. I know, I saw him out there. It's, it's did you kid. make him dress up I in did. that? No, it wasn't me, it was Bert. Oh, Seriously, okay. Julie, it wasn't okay. me. I wouldn't do that to a child. No, I was, I was just no. thinking that, actually. <laughs> but he's dying to meet and he's got some questions for oh, you. Oh, I'd love Jack? to answer them. Jack, come out and meet Dame Julie. Hi, come on. Hi, Jack. Hi, Jack. Now, what are you going to ask them, Julie? Uh, can you teach me to talk proper? <laughs> <laughs> you talk like me, though. Mm. I don't think there's anything <laughs> wrong in that, Jack. 
you know, you, you sound pretty good to me. <laughs> if you really want to, to learn how to talk proper, I think uh, just listen to all the great actors that you've got here in England, my God. So many wonderful people that you can learn from. I don't think I could do it in five seconds. <laughs> what's your next one? What's um, your... What's your favourite things? What's my favourite thing? Wow, that's a hard question. Just right off the top of my head. Um, apart from my grandchildren and my family, I guess nature is one of my favourite things. I'm, a, I'm an amateur gardener and botanist and I, I love everything to do with uh, the English countryside and the spring and, uh, and nature in general. Haven't we got the most beautiful countryside? I think so. I look it's looking the... gorgeous. Isn't it? Uh, right now it's looking gorgeous and it's looking immaculate yeah, too. Yeah. I'm, I'm happy to say. Any more, Jack? Do you like my yodel? <laughs> <laughs> ah, that's better than mine. Yeah, do, Jack, do it again. It was good. Do it good. again, Jack. Go on. <laughs> good for you. Have you got one more question? Do you act like Mary Poppins to your grandchildren? Do I? Um, I'm sure sometimes I do. I hope, uh, I hope I'm not quite as fierce sometimes. <laughs> I'm a big soppy date with my grandchildren, Jack. Yeah, I love every one of them. Uh, what does super? Callie. <laughs> Callie. Fragile. Fragilistic. Allegorious, mean. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, first of all, what do you think it means? Uh, Supercalifragilistic, expialidocious, means something so fantastic that it's the biggest word that you could possibly say about the best thing in the world. Do you have anything that's supercalifragilisticexpialidocious? What's the best thing you can think of? Playing with my, playing with my mates and being kind to them. Ah, oh, that's nice. Uh, Good. P Paul wants to tell you something. What? <laughs> Go on, Paul. <laughs> you have to. Do you um, play off of it? Um, yeah. <laughs> Go on, say what? I didn't. So, uh, something about the Princess Diaries. What was that? What was that? Say it again. Go on then. Uh, you um, played the Princess Diaries off the um, Queen. I love the Princess Diaries. Are you like? Is it that you like it or that you like, I like it? it? Oh, I'm glad. <laughs> I love the pen. <laughs> and Princess Diaries too. Yes, I should say hello, Paul O'Grady people. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Dame Julie, it's a real treat to meet you. It's Thanks for coming on the show. It's a pleasure to be here. Yeah. Thanks for Ladies spoiling Ladies and gentlemen, me. the one and only Dame Julie Andrews. Come on, let's see you. Thank you. And you, Jack. Well done. <laughs> I know something you can't say. I can say supercalifragilisticexpialidocious backwards. Yes, docious ali expedistic fragicali rupus. Bravo. <laughs> Thank you, Paul. Oh, thank you. Am I, I'm supposed to... I'll just, I'll just do this link All and right, then we'll... You're, you're Up wrong. next, we've got the one and only Mr Rufus Wainwright.